Prince is Ilka, and what do I think about Paul Thomas? <laughs> or what did I thought about him? Well, maybe the most important part is that he never stroke me like a typical male American macho football team playing or cheering person. And those things mean the world to me. Like you wouldn't sit. That is my impression. He's not the type of person who likes to go and sit in stadiums and cheer on part, you know, with other people in the hordes and be drunken and brothering as long as they're drunk with a lot of other people. He struck me like, as the contrary. Like he would never actually do that at all. And if he would be with other people, it would be seldom and random. And maybe one person and one friend, and that also very random. He did not hang out in hordes like the others. He was not a dummy. That's how I felt about it. And he struck me more like an outsider. Which, of course, in a herd of idiots, that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. I did not ever thought he would be, really? Am I said gay? No, not at all. I don't, I don't think he was concerned about anything, but he was kind of depressed about life. Well, I saw him like driving his car and being all like squished there, like in depression. Yeah, negative, sad, and helpless. Yeah, maybe it's called whiny depressive, maniac depressive. Maybe that's what it's called, but I didn't know that. I just never really, I, 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 how can I possibly determine that from, far, from afar? Searching always for the best in people. Oh, he said one more thing. He said he liked to watch movies. That was at the house at this Christmas thing. That's what he said. I like to watch movies. And then he also said, I download them from Russian websites. Maybe I saw you speak Russian? And he said, yes. And I don't know when I made the connection that the Frankfurt he came from, because he told me that he came from Frankfurt. Or maybe he told someone else and I listened to it. And he felt like awkward saying so. That I figured later, as I got went back, that the Frankfurt he came from was East Germany. Because no one in West Germany speaks Russian. That's a rarity what I did there. And I don't speak it, by the way. I studied it, but I don't speak it. So that's an East German thing. I would not be able to download videos from Russian website. I don't speak Russian. I barely pull out to read you the letters. I remember them a little bit. <laughs> Chai and Vuitje and, you know, Kagda and a few other things, but not really. I, w I don't have the knowledge to do that. I may detect when I read the words, how they sound, what it means because of the similarities. International, 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 international. See these words that, and I think in Russian it's like international. So if I read the letters, I figure that one, but that's all. So he liked movies, and the way he acted, yeah, you may say like a sissy, but remember, I'm into nerds <laughs> because they have other sides, views of, of the world. I say he is not the kind of person who likes violence. Maybe that's like I'm like a dream. Maybe I'm just imagining, envisioning things in my fairy attires. I don't know. Was it my trainer who told me he, he he's the kind of person who actually watches feminine movies and cries with them? And I was touched because I couldn't handle violent movies until I came, and I had to kind of be helped to watch them, like pretty recently. So I never considered him, I considered him softer as the usual idiots. Of course, I 
I suppose he had more insight, being having lived in two continents and actually traveling to a third continent to a complete different culture. For me, this is always a plus. I think people learn. And I never considered him like a sissy or a gay person at all. And I'm not really sure why I have to say it, but this is what... Yeah, you just go ahead and ask me whatever there is. If I would have had the slightest notion that he is gay, why would I talk to him? If I would have had the slightest notion that he doesn't like me, why would I talk to him? Yeah, and why would he have come to my house? After he didn't salute at me for a, year, a few years now. Yeah, well, I felt the same as shy when I was 11. Yeah, that's why my boyfriend Dietrich lasted like three hours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I went to the Kermes, to Jamag, and I couldn't talk to him. I was so shy. So that was that. That was the end of it. And that's why he had such a hard time to actually appear there or agree to the appointment. It doesn't matter what I was told. I was told that he, I don't know. See, I take things with care, I have to say. I must admit, I I don't believe in a lot of shit people say. Like, there has a hypnotic word he had to listen to and that would change his brains. Yeah, maybe it's true, maybe it's not. Yeah, well, there were a word. Matria said, so I sent it and then he changed. That's true. I don't know which word. I have no idea. I may find it in my head though. And that happened with someone else too. Who was that and what was that? Was that medium? Mm, no. Hmm. Don't know. The thing is, everything about him was unusual. We can talk about Jesse, for example. Jesse? Well, one may say that Jesse was equally successful. He had his own business, he had money, he had his car, I don't know which car, whatever car that was. Yeah, I saw the other men acting to him, so that's why I know. And the arrogance of his Asian wife. Yeah, and the house they lived in, and the pretentious because they lived out of that other house, which, you know, was Rosalba's house then. But he looked at me sitting in his room with his daughter for the first time having a conversation. And well, you can see there is a guy who had, you know, and you can see a story behind him. And Tomas never had a story like that. It's like he was not really a man. Well, when a man is a man, let's say a man has sex, for example, has a wife, children, he feels like a man, he acts like a man, and he measures himself like a man to a woman as a man. Yeah, I'm not saying he liked me or not. I'm not saying he did anything for that, no. Maybe, but maybe not, or maybe yes, but definitely something. And Tomas never had that. He looked like a frightened little bird, like a child, like a baby who didn't know how to wash and dress. And then after he came, and after he kicked me out, then he started to wear white shirts, like in the photo, where he drove by my house and white shirts, very fresh. Now, I may be crazy, I definitely am, but I could clearly see that they were freshly washed and iron shirts, which were wider on his body. I could see from afar. I don't know why I see those things, but I do. Yes, and I kind of can also almost see his dark blue pants, although how could I, if he was like two blocks <laughs> ahead? And very well combed, of course. Maybe he put some gel in his hair because of his car with the open roof and Yeah, and before that they were kind of standing in front of my house sometimes on the other side and staring at me without saying hello. That was weird. Yeah, before the drama started. That was very strange. I was just sitting in my chair. Why would they start to stop sitting? I mean, they stopped their walk with their dog, turned around, 
stood there, stared at me like I, I that was so weird. I don't know why. What am I going supposed to say? It felt strange. So if I'm not invited, I don't speak to people. And maybe the last time I saw them, that was um, probably shortly before. I don't know exactly when it was. Maybe it was in November or December or I don't know, after that May. I saw them coming out in her car and she was driving. And they looked at me or he looked at me from the car. I was just in front of my house. And that's that. Now I got a notion what happened. But then again, I'm not sure. They just looked at me, they drove out. And they were dressed like for going to an, uh, like a, pub a public uh, event, like something official. I've never seen her dressed like that before. <laughs> 